Hello everyone! Today we will be going through how to make a singleton pattern and be able to reuse it in several scripts instead of re rewriting the code over and over again. Um, this tutorial will be a, a bit more complex than the ones I usually do because we will be using uh, inheritance, generics and overrides. I won't go through the details of each of these concepts because you can google them on your own and this is not a programming tutorial per se it's more a unity and singleton tutorial so let's jump into unity and start by making a regular script for the game manager as you would normally do and make it into singleton Start by removing this. The normal singleton pattern that we use in Unity goes something like this: we create a static variable, type game manager, called instance, and in the awake method, we will check if this instance does already exist. If it's not null, um, instance not equal to null. If it already exists, then we will destroy this object and return. We don't want to do anything more. If it doesn't exist, then we take uh, instance and set it to this, and then we make a don't destroy and load on this. So people have different opinions whether to use singleton patterns or not. Um, I say if it makes your life easier and you know what you're doing, you can use them, but don't overuse them. Uh, me myself, I use them only on managers such as game manager, audio manager, score manager, and so on. And depending on the size of the game, I usually have between one and five, six, seven of them. And every time I create a manager, I don't want to duplicate this code. For each of them. It's not much of a code, but it's still duplication, and duplication is not good. So, what we will do now is make this into an, its own class that we can reuse and inherit from. So, instead of. Yeah, let's go back to Unity instead and create a new script called Singleton. Okay, let's go inside of it. Let's remove this. And this class will be an abstract class. And it will also be a generic class. So we will put in, send in a type, and it will sh shouldn't matter what type it is. Where t remote. So the syntax is a bit more complex because it's um, generics, but it uses it essentially means that we can send whichever type we want to this, and it will translate it to T and use it. So then we take the code we had here and copy it into the singleton. And here, instead of the game manager, we use the T. That we defined here and here we say this as t okay perfect now we have a singleton class that is abstract abstract means that we can't in instantiate this object we have to inherit from it to be able to instantiate it so in the game manager we can remove all of this and instead we inherit from singleton and we send in our own type like this. Now, every class that we create that we want to be a singleton, we just need to add this instead of mono behavior. So let's go inside Unity and let's create a new empty object here. Uh, let's call it game manager 
for simplicity. Add the game manager component to it. So if everything works as it should, then the code in Singleton should run. And on awake, we should see that the game manager object here will uh, be childed to the don't destroy and load object. Let's press play. Yeah, you can see that there is a don't destroy and load now, and inside of it is the game manager. All right, but now what happens? If we, in our game manager, want to do something in the awake method. Let's say we want to write a message to the player. Debug log. Hello, player. What will happen with this? Will it still work as, it, as we are intending it to work? Let's see. If we... Let's play now. We can see in the console that hello player ran, but we, the game manager is no longer on inside of the don't disown load object. So the singleton code isn't running anymore. It is because we have made our own awake method and completely ignoring this one here. So to be able to make our own awake method, while still using the singletons awake method, we need to change the private into protected and add virtual here. Virtual means that we can make our own over overridden, um, not overloaded, overridden method of the awake, and then also call the awake method. So let's go inside the game manager, and here. Private void override. So, private override away. Not private, protected. Like that. Let's print something out in this uh, awake method as well. After here, we can print debug this. Is the singleton awake? Oh, forgot debug.log. There you go. So, what are we expecting to it to do now? Well, let's just see what it does. It's still only printing out the hello player. So, what we also need to do is that somewhere in this awake, preferably at the end, also call base.awake. Base means the singleton class and the awake method of the base class. So now, when we're running the game manager, we will first be running the singleton's awake and then we will run the rest of the code in our awake. Now, if we run it again, you can see this is the singleton awake and then hello player and we can see our game manager is once again inside of the don't disown logo. So now this makes it very simple to create multiple singletons and or just making a class that you want to test um, fast without making an inst without instantiating it. So for instance if you make a Audio manager, go inside, remove this, singleton, yeah, audio manager, and then here making our await method that is overridden, overriding. And not private, protected, and then debug.log audio manager over there. And just by this, we have made two managers that are singletons in no time at all without repeating code. 
Perfect. I hope you find this helpful and see you later.